ladies and gentlemen, 2025 is officially upon us and as such, it is time to perform the age-old Linux New Year's ritual, asking whether or not this year will be the year of the Linux desktop. It's a running joke at this point that current year will be the year of the Linux desktop. But is this year any different? Are we witnessing the downfall of Microsoft Windows? Will Linux be able to increase its market share to, I don't know, 10% by the end of 2025? Will the CIA ever discover my true identity? Or is it just the usual cope? To answer this, here are four things we can expect this year from the Linuxverse that may not only reignite the desktop wars, but change them as we know it. So first of all, let's get the obvious one out of the way. If we look at the stats for the past five years, the percentage of desktop PC users who use Linux has more than doubled, going from 1.85% at the end of 2019 to 4.13% at the end of 2024, according to StatCounter. But let's be real, at this rate, we'll only hit 4.84% at the end of 2025, according to this wonderful graph I made. And even this outcome is quite optimistic because it's based on the average rate of gain for the past five years, or at least it appears to be. I don't know how Google Sheets works under the hood. But if we look at the evolution of the rate of gain, we're actually at a low point, having just come out of a large hump in 2022-2023. So statistically, it appears to be business as usual. But of course, these trends are subject to drastic change caused by market forces. Which brings us to prediction number two. For those of you who've been living under a rock for the past two years, Valve, one of the few gaming companies that is widely acknowledged to be not evil, released back in 2022 the Steam Deck, a handheld games console for PC games. Why is this a big deal? Because the system it runs on, SteamOS, is based on Arch Linux. That's it. I hear you cry, he's become so desperate that he's including games consoles to bump up the Linux market share. Wrong, sir. Wrong. The Steam Deck, for those of you who don't know, can be used as a desktop PC without any messy hacks. It's as simple as pressing a button and you have a full KDE desktop with everything you need, meaning that a Steam Deck plus a monitor, keyboard and mouse and a few other cheap peripherals can cover the use cases for the average Joe. That's incredible. So what we have here is a device good for gaming and work, running Linux out of the box, and yes, the Steam Deck may not satisfy the kind of hardcore gamers who tend to build their own rigs, but it can absolutely satisfy the average user, which is, after all, what we're going for here. Now keep all this in mind because I'm going to come back to it later. For now though, let's look at prediction 3. In the past few months, Google has been in trouble. Big trouble with the Department of Justice. For a more in-depth explanation of what's going on here, check out the video on screen. But for now, to cut a long story short, the US government wants them to sell Google Chrome, among other things. And this may be very bad news for Chromebooks. Now. What I'm going to say here is very speculation based, but the way I see it, Chromebooks will go one of two ways. Either they'll be sold along with Chrome, which is quite unlikely, or they'll have to decrease their reliance on the Chrome browser and by extension, the web. So what I'm hoping for is for Google to change the way Chrome OS works de-bloating it and bringing Linux out of the VM and into the forefront of the system, allowing people to get the most out of the limited hardware. Now, this is indeed wishful thinking, but it seems like the only way out for Chromebooks. After all, they were built around the web, and now that their portal to the web is being ripped <coughs> from them, they'll have to lean into the lightweightness aspect or die similarly to how you should consider leaning into that subscribe button. There's real potential for Chromebooks, but unfortunately, Google has more or less squandered that potential since their release. But now, 
they may be forced to change. Which brings us on to our fourth and final prediction. In late 2024, Valve, I told you I'd come back to them, released new branding guides for devices powered by SteamOS. This would suggest that they are planning to expand the list of available Steam devices through third parties, which means that SteamOS may come to a wider variety of devices. This, coupled with a line of hypothetical Chrome OS unlocked devices, means that Linux would now be available on mainstream PCs, if you can call Chromebooks a PC. And all this out of the box for everyone from light to power users, absolutely destroying two of Windows' main lines of defense, pre-installed supremacy and gaming. Now, yes, up till now, I could very well have added Chrome OS to the Linux market share to make it look bigger, because yes, technically Chrome OS is Linux based, but I don't consider it to be a real Linux distro, mostly because the whole Linux side of it has been lobotomized and confined to a virtual machine. Otherwise, it looks like 2025 may indeed be an exciting year for Linux. But what do you think? Make sure to comment your opinion down below and leave a like if you don't want me to make a surprise visit to your house in the middle of the night with a chainsaw. But for now though, I'm definitely not a lizard and thanks for watching.